going to break the rules this week and feature a man during this segment. We spoke earlier about Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and how he has really ushered in a new era in Ethiopia. He's done a lot these past few months, but what really stands out to me is his decision to appoint women to half of Ethiopia's ministerial post, including the defense minister. This is the type of radical change that is needed across Africa to create gender equality and women's empowerment. In his address to parliament explaining the move, he said that women would help restore peace and stability. So there's a lot to keep an eye on. I'm breaking the rules too today, Ayan. <laughs> My man to watch is Dr. Dennis Mukwege, known to many as Dr. Miracle. He was relatively unknown until winning a Nobel Peace Prize for his work treating more than 85,000 women, wow. girls, even babies raped and suffering from violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. When accepting his Nobel Peace Prize, he spoke to survivors <laughs> saying, the world is listening to you and refusing to remain indifferent. We hope that the world will not wait any longer to act with determination and strength to assist you because the survival of humanity depends on you. This week, I'm watching Ilhan Omar. Her story really can be considered the American dream. She is a Somali refugee who spoke no English when she arrived in the U.S. at the age of 12. To see a war survivor make history threefold as the first hijabi in Congress, first Somali American legislator, and the first African Muslim woman in Congress was pretty exciting. Omar says, I was raised to believe in the ideals of charity, building community, fighting against injustice, fighting to reach consensus. All those ideals are deeply rooted in my faith. She wants other marginalized young people, no matter what community they're from, anyone who's facing discrimination, hatred, or bullying because of their identity right now, to know that you don't need permission to be yourself. And that's how you smash several glass ceilings all at once. You know, for me, it's got to be Rwanda's Diane Rigaro. You'll remember the young woman who tried to run for president but was barred from contesting the election. She and her mother were arrested and imprisoned on charges of inciting insurrection and forgery. Rigaro said the charges were politically motivated, and it seems the court agreed with her. In a surprise verdict, it found the two women innocent on all of the charges. We spoke to Rigaro earlier and asked her what her experience in 2018 means for women in politics. It's not easy being a woman in African politics. But the key is uh, to never give up, but keep going until you attain your goal. I live in a country that is very unpredictable, but I do hope that 2019 will be a good year I will continue with what I had started before I went to prison. I had founded a movement, the People's Salvation Movement, Itawaza, and uh, I'm planning on continuing with it. Tian Regara there. It will be interesting to see what she does next. Who do you think deserves a shout out? Use the hashtag VOA All Voices and tell us who you think is a woman to watch. It would be great to learn about the women you see rising. Be sure to watch Our Voices on the website where you can find the world's top news stories.